effectiveness of new treatments, but a national cancer data strategy is underway to change that, as Cathy McLeish reports. <laughs> Melbourne mother of three, Amanda Rin, has secondary breast cancer, which means the cancer has metastasized or traveled to other parts of her body. I was told that I had uh, the breast cancer throughout my lungs as well. Um, and was told at that time I was incurable. She's trying every avenue she can to get well. Ultimately for me, I, I want a cure. I want to be here to see my children finish school. Um, I'd like to see my son start school in a couple of months. Um, I'd love to see him finish school. But in her search for information, she discovered there's no data available on advanced disease. Associate Professor Fran Boyle is an oncologist. When a woman who is newly diagnosed with secondary breast cancer says to me, how long have I got? I actually can't tell her. What we really need is some hard statistics. What is the average survival? What's the best case? What's the worst case? Because people actually need that information to plan uh, for their own lives and we need that information to plan services to support them. Dr Helen Zorbis heads Cancer Australia, the national government body working to reduce cancer. She says the only cancer statistics currently collected in Australia are when people are diagnosed and when they die. This is a great gap in our understanding of the delivery of cancer care and in informing cancer control going forward. When we're trying to get new drugs approved, what we don't know is how many people need them and we also don't know how well they work in terms of extending survival. Right now, pathologists register a diagnosis, but there's no process for secondary cancer to be registered. In 2010, two pilot projects to trial ways to collect that information were launched, one in Victoria and the other in Western Australia. Now the two programs are about to be evaluated. Dr Zorbis says that will take around 12 months. This work will um, enable us to um, really further improve outcomes for women with breast cancer by having a, a much deeper understanding um, of the kinds of um, treatments applied within different settings in Australia, um, what stages of disease um, women are diagnosed at in different regions of Australia at different ages and also then to look at recurrences and how we can impact on prognosis for those women whose cancers do return. The Breast Cancer Network of Australia supports women with the disease. For some women it's like living with a chronic disease and they live really well uh, and have a very good quality of life with secondary breast cancer. But there are others who face uh, enormous side effects and challenges, physical and psychological, uh, financial, um, challenges as a result of this, um, this diagnosis. CEO Maxine Morand says the data would inform the kind of support needed. We could provide, for example, advice um, about managing your finances, advice about insurance, whether it's travel insurance or the impact it has on your life insurance, um, access to your superannuation, a whole lot of issues that come into play when you get a diagnosis of secondary breast cancer. Last week, Amanda Rin heard another trial treatment hadn't worked for her. She will now try something else, but she says until there's more information, like other friends with the disease, she has no way of knowing what treatments will be most effective. Most of us are under 45. And we're living with advanced disease. Some of, it, some of us with it in our brain. I have it in my lungs. Um, I have friends with it in their bones, others with it in their liver. You know, we're living every day with this disease and we're trying to live really good lives. And, you know, I just want to put it out there that we need to get beyond early breast cancer and find out how big this group of people is and, and come up with treatments and strategies that work and get our funding and our research dollars behind advanced breast cancer as well because if we can work out how to cure a disease that has metastasized then we know how to cure early breast cancer but i'd like to be around for a little bit longer and i'm doing my bit by trying to live the best life i can and um, i'm just hoping that i get some help along the way kathy mcleish